Hey gamers, the Game Hub emulator just got a massive update with version 3.0, and it's honestly a total game changer. Now you can log into your Steam account directly from Game Hub and access your entire Steam library. But the real highlight? You can now play your Steam games online with multiplayer support. This is huge because it opens up so many new possibilities for online gaming on an emulator, which wasn't really possible before. In this video, I'll walk you through the complete setup process, step by step, so you can get everything running perfectly. Plus. I'll share the best settings to make sure your games run super smooth without any lag or stuttering. So make sure you watch the video till the end because you don't want to miss out on any important details. And hey, if you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like. It really helps a lot. Now, let's get started. So this is the GameHub version 3.0 update, which I've already installed. Now, let's walk through the setup. First of all, open the GameHub app. Once it's open, you'll see the option to sign in with Google. Just tap on it and sign in easily with your Google account. After signing in, you'll get a few permission requests. Make sure to allow all of them, it's important for smooth performance. Once that's done, you'll land on the GameHub home screen. From here, tap on the menu option, then go to Game Options. In the Game Options section, you'll notice a new feature in the corner, Steam Beta. This is the latest feature of the GameHub emulator. Now you can log into your Steam account directly from here. Once you're logged in, you'll have access to your entire Steam library, and you can play all your Steam games directly from GameHub. And as you can see here, that I have added a lot of games from my Steam library. And first of all, I tried running I Am Fish Game, which ran very smoothly here. And one advantage you will get from Steam library is that you will be able to play many online multiplayer games from here. But here, I saw a lot of errors in most of the games. One reason for this could be that I am using Snapdragon 8 Elite device here. And many games are having such errors with 8 Elite driver. Until now, there is no turnip driver available for Snapdragon 8 Elite, due to which we are not yet able to run Snapdragon 8 Elite to its full potential. Apart from this, I found this new feature of GameHub emulator is very amazing. Its user interface is very easy to use. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. I will meet you in the next one. Till then, peace.